Choose a rare card, baby. Fiend Fire Reaper Bludgeon. Bludgeon Act 1. Let's go. Ajin's also a good show, dude. I think you should, I think you would like it. Well, actually, take a look at Ajin and tell me what you think of it, Reloading, because I want to kind of get a gauge for what you like. Blue guy? Okay, we're going to get the blue guy in the picture right now. That's Alvi, that's Alvi. That's not Isaac. Ghostly. King Crusher, yeah, dude. I used to, I used to sub to King Crusher. I used to watch a lot of chess videos, man. I used to sub to King Crusher. Uh, I mean, I'm still subbed to him technically, and I used to watch King Crusher. I used to watch a lot of chess stuff. I mean, I, because I, I was following the World Championship. I was following the World Championship. I, I know it's a lot of different chess games. You know, the Magnus when Magnus was making his uh, climb for the title against the Nons. Uh, I was, I watched, I watched so much, a lot of chess, dude. I was, I was into chess at some point, like pretty legit i wasn't playing but i was a, a good like a nice a big consumer of chess i would say and uh yeah i watched the king crusher he he he, he crits he makes a lot of videos a lot of daily uploads it's funny because i remember back i wasn't really doing youtube that much but now that i'm a youtuber like i, I see him yeah you know, i respect his hustle i used to always catch him always on the there's a i used to go to go chess bomb and he goes to chess bomb as well and i see him typing there sometimes i used to also go to chess 24 sometimes he's at chess 24 um, you know, he does lead chess tournaments as well. We got a metallicized iron waiver drop kick. I like metallicized voice. I look good action, romance, drama, and anime. Check it out, man. So what we think. And, and Lila in particular, well, Lila's very Lila's very captivating. I think people who are not even into chess can get into Lila, because Lila is uh Incredible. Action Obscure. Yes. I think there might be some uh, romance in there. I don't know. I mean, I think the first couple episodes are pretty captivating. You can give it a whirl. See what you think. And this is this this is one of those fights that just just keeps going on, huh? I have lethal on that dude. Close line trigger. Uh, the thing is, I like the weaken, but mm, that's okay. We'll, we'll play it. Bludgeon's gonna be our tour de force right here. Yeah, we need a big, big, big bludgeon. What's up, Adir? How you doing, buddy? I don't want to lose Ghostly. In fact, I kind of want to do this. We get the Bash and the Weaken, so we have four turns of Bash, four turns of Weaken, which means we're guaranteed to get a, a Bludgeon on him when he's vulnerable. It's very nice. I'm doing it. You got to.
Rampage take a win, Heavy Blade. Rampage for some scaling? I, I'm... Yeah, I'll take a Rampage. Fuck, why not? Let's go ahead and upgrade the Bash, maybe, so I can get that longer Vulnerable, which will make my Bludgeon more likely to hit the Slime Boss when he's Vulnerable, which is Pog Champ. Which is extremely Pog, Pog, Pog. I had Orichalcum whoopsies. Can I get a Orichalcum whoopsies? Demon form, infernal dual wield. Ooh, demon form as well. I'm just taking all kinds of weird shit. A bludgeon, demon form, rampage. This is how a deck becomes a losing deck, guys. You take demon form, rampage, and bludgeon. This is how shit becomes a losing deck. Unless we get snack a Y, and then we're like, ah, pretty pog champ. Pog, pog, pog. I mean, at the end of the day, they're still they're still really good. Uh, they're all really good cards on their own, right? You know what I mean? Like Demon Form is just a good value card on its own. You take Heavy Blade. I'm not taking Heavy Blade. That's see, that's the thing. I'm not gonna take Heavy Blade. That's just too expensive. But we could do an Elite, no problem. Well, I say no problem, but damn, this is a this is one of those rough fights. Let's do that. Poggy. We'll get Red Skull here. Ooh. Do I take the hit? Or do I bludgeon him and take no damage? We can assume that we're going to kill this guy anyways, right? Yo. JB's with the... Pogchamp. Pogchamp resub. Welcome back, big buddy. Welcome back to, uh... The Germful, man. Welcome. I was going to do Shockwave. Well, Shockwave Rampage is just as good, right? Because, okay, I'm stacking the Rampage. I'm blocking it full. Oh, Wait a second, I did have Orichalcum. Whoops. Sometimes I forget, guys. I had Orichalcum. But, we're okay, this guy's dead. I'm a little tired, boys, alright? You gotta, you gotta bear with me, alright? Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me. Nah, no, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. What's up, Johnny? I like that emo, buddy. Wow. Who's his artist? Who's Celerity's artist? Liquid Bronze Pummel. Pummel's sick. Twin Strike is pretty sick. No, but Pummel's really sick. Liquid Bronze. For Triple Century, it's not bad, right? Nah, we'll skip. I'm not gonna do Blood Potion because we have uh, Red Skull right now, which is pretty nice. Red Skull. Sorry, we have Orichalcum with a Metallicize. That's fantastic. So we just kill one of them with Bludgeon. Ooh. See, ideally I want to kill one of them with Bludgeon, but I can't, so I'll just redeem it for him and just call it a day. Or we could do Speed Pot. You know what? This is probably a good Speed Pot turn. I don't want to take all that damage. Ooh, that's a big Bludgeon. I lose Ghostly. Instead of losing Ghostly, I could do Pummel, and then... Like, I could do this, and then Pummel, and then, like, maybe do that. And because we have Orichalcum and Telesize, we should be fine. Poggers. What's up, Lethal? How you doing? Finish. Welcome, man. How you doing? So, am I the only seeing things like Finish pop up and stuff? Are you guys seeing Finish saying Finish is new here? Am I seeing that? Am I the only seeing that the, the, the he's new? Because I don't always get that. Take one damage or just kill him? I suppose we just kill him, right? Oh, I could just kill. Eh, I'll take one. I don't know if one damage is better. This is lethal, anyways. Nice, nice, nice. Paper Frog. Oh, shit. That is good. We have Cleave for the AoE. I kind of like the Cleave. Yeah. Wow. Oh, no, no. Cancel, cancel. Um. Metallic uh, Shockwave, Metallicize Plus, and makes it like a clean 10 block with Ori Calcum. That's pretty sexy. I like it. I'm 
talking about Slayer WoW. Oh, you're just talking about them? Oh, they're talking about anime. <laughs> Do we get like a vulnerable here? Nah, I'm gonna skip. It was worth a shot though. If I got one with this guy, it would have been sick, sick, sick. Alright, we're gonna get a massive split, hopefully. Or we won't, we'll see. I'm gonna wait and try to get even more strength, and maybe try to do a... Either a pummel or a bludgeon. It's worth it. Oh god, are you kidding me? I'm gonna wait again. Pummel. Rampage. Oh, yeah. You know, that's actually fine. You know what? Because we have so much strength, and we're going to get drawn to Bludgeon and Pummel anyways, that this the slimes are going to get destroyed. It's 57. Like, oof. Oh, wait. Doesn't it split them both? Wait, don't I just like, kill them all here? Wait, like... So these guys have one life. Is, is that going to be a threat? Watch them be a threat. So far, so good. So far, so good. I actually have 10 block because of uh, Ori Metallicize. Sick. Limit Break or Offering? I think Offering is probably better because we have some, some cards we want to get out. I think Limit Break is unnecessary. Although it could be kind of pot champ as well. We got uh, Fusion, no longer Smith, Runic, or Tiny House. I need the energy, I'm taking Fusion. It sucks, you can't Smith, but... Alright, we can, um... Since we have Red Skull, we can assume that we're going to take some damage. To try to get that activated, potentially. Which, with Limit Break, would have been sick. And since we can only rest, we could probably play a little bit more aggressive and go for Elites. Let's see. I like being able to Smith, but... You know, there is a way to, like, work around that. There's things like... Mind Bloom event and Apotheosis, of course. And this guy's one damage off lethal. You like that emote? I'm glad you like it, dude. True Grit? Yeah, yeah. White Wolves, how you doing? So are you guys seeing the things that I'm seeing? When it, when it says, like, White Wolves is new here? Are you guys seeing that, or just is that just me? You don't see it? Beta, do you see it? What's up, uh, Examine? How you doing, son? Heavy Blade? Now that we have two energy, do we want... Now that we have four energy, do we like Heavy Blade? I mean, it's upgraded, right? Just like, just cut the wasp with the size of my fist that flew in my room. Oh my god, that's horrible. Why do wasps that big exist? Lee's Waffle. That's bad because we're going to have to only rest anyways. I think Centennial's not bad. Yeah, don't forget to cook it on the stove, uh, son. You know what we taught you? When you, when you kill those wasps, you got to cook it on the stone. Stowed. I'm tired, guys. I'm trying to speak English, but it's not working. Juzu? I think we want to remove a strike. I think I like Juzu. Isn't like aren't there like a lot of good events recently? I was gonna do for Sentinel, but I like Juzu. So beta, I keep asking you a question, and you're not responding. This is why I ask you if you read my chat, bro. <laughs> if you can hear my voice. You think buzz the fuck around? I don't doubt it. Why do you think I left you? Came over here to America. Just kidding, just kidding.
shit. I should have gone for the weekend, probably. Beta, do you see the, the this person is new here alerts that are popping up, or is it just me? Remove another strikey strike. Thunderclap is pretty sick with Paper Frog, no? What's up, young EG? Oh my god, Beta. Jesus Christ. You guys are trolling me today. I'm too tired for this shit. You guys know that, right? Also free to play. Oh, Eternal? I'll check it out, man. That sounds really interesting. Eternal. I'm, I'm a sucker for card games, so I'll check that out. Eternal. I'll check it out, man. Very free to play is also kind of captivating. I like games that are very free to play because I like to just get in the action and not have to like feel like, oh, I wish I had this, but I don't have it. So I'll check it out, man. Eternal. And where did I get that word? from Steam? Funeral Pain and Flame and Mechanesis. The Funeral Pain. Who are big names? Two of the designers are LZV and Patrick uh, Chapin. Uh, I'll try it out, man. Let's go for an elite. Ooh, yeah, dude. We have thri we have Common Needle plus Metallicize. Are we like Pod Chapin or what, guys? We got Common Needle and Metallicize, guys. Wow. Can we pog champ? Now or later? Well, fuck me, dude. This guy's all over my 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 jock right now. That's a lot of damage, guys. That's a lot of damage, but I don't... I think we're gonna get lethal anyway, so let's go ahead and do this. And I have a big feeling we're gonna get lethal, because he's vulnerable, and I have damage scaled up. And bam. Luckily, we have anchor. Wow, we're getting some good stuff. Double drop, double demon form? I'm gonna be ballsy and say... No. But, you know, drop pick's not bad, because I do have uh, many sources of vulnerable. I have bash plus, I have... Thunderclap, and I have... Shockwave. I'm looking very forward to artifacts, man. I actually want to go to PAX just to play artifacts. So I want to go to PAX West because they they're can they going to be able to play artifacts and I just kind of want to get my hands on it. Double Demon. Fuck it. <clears throat> You're right, I do have no balls. Uh, my doctor released that information. Um, Try a, a Keyforge. I could try out Keyforge. Do I just go for the damage on this guy's face or do I kill the minions? What do you guys think? How about we do this? Weaken? Oh, that guy doesn't die. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. We'll match a tank. Once you get Demon from now, we're gonna scale up. Guy stays alive. Feels bad, man. Come on, man. Can you please give me my demon form? I might die because I don't have demon form. But it streamlines. I'll try Key Forge. So try, yeah, I'm gonna really try that out, man. Uh, so is, is it, am I available to try it out? Like just willy-nilly? Let's probably do big sturdy pot. I block versus like killing this guy. 
I think it's worth it to just kill this guy. Jesus. Jesus. Thank God we can only rest, right? And this is why we did it, because we can only rest. See, I'm going to re refresh my thing, because I keep getting people that, like, are not new here. Saying they're new here. Sentinel plus. Demon form. I mean, I kind of want to do clothesline here, but... Alright, we don't need demon form for this fight. There's an online rulebook, which I could link you, where you can look it up, plus there's a proxy online version, which you can play. It's a bit clunky, but still works. So the proxy online version is not official. It's somebody that somebody made. It's not an official thing. Cliff here, bottle out of the bottle to tornado, the flame or the bottle lightning minus tornado, I think. Flame's the worst. Yeah, I think flame's probably one of the worst. I think it's between tornado and lightning. It, it honestly depends on what my deck's trying to do. But, you know, there are certain skills I want, like malaise with... Bottle could be crazy, but I think most of the time Tornado is the play because powers are so impactful. So I think Tornado is the play. Skippy, Skippy. I'm gonna use this just in case. Do I still get rid of Skull? That's fine. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna also do this. Alright, feels bad. That guy's dead. But I kind of want to do Thunderclap. And can I kill this guy? Like, how close am I to killing him? It's pretty close, right? Is it worth it to go for that? I feel like it is. I don't know, guys. Wish me luck. Wish me luck here. Did I make a smart play or a dumb play? Smart or a dummy, huh? Smart or a dummy? Can I get a ha-ha? Got a whirlwind? Or to dump it. But I think we just want more block. More, more block. World one's obviously nice, but. Uh, they have informed the publisher about it, and I'm pretty sure they're okay with it until the game is fully released. Okay. Inform first turns, not bad. Let's not do so much damage. Let's, let's kind of wait until we scale up a little bit. I got you, man. I'll give it a good look through. Keyforge, right? That's the name. Keyforge. Let's, let's, chill down. let's chill out a little bit with the damage. I'm sorry, Dream Scythe. Yeah, I'm gonna get back on it, man. I'm gonna get back on it. I feel bad that I've, I've neglected the YouTube uh, content a little bit. I'm gonna try getting back on the YouTube content. Don't worry, buddy. Sorry about that, man. I'm gonna try also posting other YouTube stuff. Like, so for the times where I'm not playing to this part, I, I need to have more YouTube stuff available. Do we go for the split now, guys? Pretty decent, right? It's not bad. Not bad. Pog pog. Pog pog. Barricade on top of everything else. We're just like, you know, we also have demon form. We've got good block. How about we just do a barricade on top of it? Just give me everything. Or we can do exhum, and exhum can bring us back um, offering again. Hey, what's up, Festive Bestive? How you doing? Oh, we gotta get Festive Bestive a, a sub. Festive doesn't have a sub. We're gonna have to get her a sub. Or him, sorry. I say her. I, for some reason, her was... I don't, I don't mean any offense by that. Um, barricade is cool, but I think with Demon Form, maybe we're... I could do both, honestly. I could see a world because we're going against Dono and Deca, potentially, because it's two out of three. With Funeral Pain, Barricade being really nice. 
along with thread and needle. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna start posting to other games on YouTube. Let's do the barricade, even though that's a little expensive. You know, I'm gonna go for more energy just because we have a lot of expensive cards. Um. Damn, we're going for a lot of elites, huh? Okay, we don't have upgrades, which I just realized might be a problem. And this fight is probably a problem. Actually, you know what? Let's just pog one of them out of here. We can pog one of them out of here, or we can say, let's do demon form. I might want to pog here. Do I? Pog or scale? Pog or scale? I think we scale, right? But they're about to do a lot of damage. Let's see what we got here. Trigger for the Sentinel. Thirty-two damage. Well, I'll be damned. It's gonna be hard to upgrade. Well, we have five. We have five energy, so like I feel like barricade is not necessarily needs to be upgraded because five energies gonna make it pretty easy to play i would say is it worth to play here i might as well get out of the cycle but the fight's gonna be over anyway so i might as well just get the five extra life because it's not like the barricade's gonna provide me any life unless i would have drawn into it now and that makes a difference but even then like this guy is dying to a heavy blade And this is another such okay, that's perfect. Alright. So let's see what the boss is. It's two out of three, so the awakened one, I think we can handle that, no problem. Um well the fact that he gets plus two strength is problematic. We've got Panacea, which could be useful for general things. I'm trying to think what exactly it could be useful for. Nothing nothing crazy yet, but maybe some potions will get useful for it. And then we have metamorphosis. I'm going to skip here. Skip here. I think Panacea is just generally useful. Receive two madness, lose four max HP, become cursed. Lose four max HP, damn. Madness? I'm going to skip. Remove a card? Okay, remove another strike. We're killing it, guys. We've got a pretty decent deck here. So, we can remove another card, or we can go for... Since we have Panacea, we can look for potions, which we don't see anything good. We have Smoke Bomb, just in case things get hairy. Do we go for Smoke Bomb, or do we say, just remove it? We're feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. I hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. But I'm feeling confident here. Now, we're going for Elites. Uh oh, this could be bad, boys. This could be a bad one. Not too bad. Could be worse. Why not madness? Uh, it's 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 kind of a curse. The madness. Two of them. Heavy blade. Well, this is a wait. Let's see, get true grit here. Do I play barricade? Nah, right. I think we just fully block. I'm gonna do that just to get the damage. Damn. This guy's on my booty right now. Oh, fuck me, bro. Okay, cool. Penib. Oh, wow, that's really good. Our deck is pretty damn good. Why did I get a trigger that I can't upgrade? Uh, that's a mistake. Now we gotta get Mind Bloom, I guess. I'm not gonna go for another elite. I'm actually gonna skip that next campfire. I'm gonna go straight for the events, because I'm, I'm trying to get Mind Bloom.
Oh, thank you, Trout. I think, Trout, Trout, I think you're a regular, so you're able to post links. Mind Bloom is the event that you can upgrade all cards, get a random rare relic, etc, etc. So in this situation, we will get upgrade all cards. Shockwave again. Mm, two of them? I don't mind. Um, Flame Bearer? Mmm. Panis- No. Wait. So do we do have- Damn, nothing good for the artifacts in Panacea. I think Flame Bearer is not bad, although I can remove it the last strike. Oh, we don't have any more. Okay, let's do Flame Bearer. And we'll take the Thorns, I guess, just to have something. So yeah, I was going to rest, but I'm going to go ahead and get these events, see what we get. Lose Trugrit plus lose Pummel. I might lose Metallic says because it's bad against the Awakened one, but it's also pretty damn good to with like Ori Kalkum and stuff. I can probably lose the Pummel. Feels bad. But even though Metallic says it's bad against the Awakened one. Um, let's kill one of these. There are two of them. I think Nightbot has a track of the top shatters. I'm not sure if it reset or wiped at any point, though. But you're among them. Alright, we have one more chance, guys, for this to be Mind Bloom. And boom. Mind Bloom it is, guys. Upgrade all cards. Can we get a Poggy? Can I get a Poggy? How many Poggies can I get from the chat right now? Well, it's not- it's lucky, but like, also... I have Juju, right? And I went to all events intentionally, so I guess it's lucky, but also... I don't know. Let's do Double Thorns. Because I think the other bosses are going to be relatively easy. I say that reluctantly. I think... I'm going to use Barricade. I want to Demon Form. As well. And the guy already has plus two strength because of Philosopher's Stone, so this is going to be like a scary, scary s situation. If I'm being honest. I'm very scared of the situation, guys. Because we have Philosopher's Stone on a damn multi-hitting beast in which I have powers I need to play. a lot of damn Poggies, damn. Damn, the Poggies are real right now. I just need to kill that damn thing in the front, and maybe we can stabilize. I mean, we have decent block. Is this attack right? The fact that he's weakened is helping a lot. So, like, yeah, I do want, obviously want to play Demon Form, but do I need to do Demon Form for this fight? Can I just win without Demon Form? If I get enough block, aren't I good? You know what I mean? If a man gets enough block, is he not good? So he he's always doing 36 with this attack. I can never really block that. So I guess we just do demon form. Oh, that's painful. I can't really block that. That's a lot of damage. I think like we gotta do that. But I also want to build up my block for the next couple plays. You know what I mean? Because it's not this play that I'm worried about. It's the next ones. But then I'll get rid of my heavy blade, which sucks. But if my strength gets high enough, the heavy blade doesn't even matter. It's a tough call, boys. It's a tough call. Like, I want to get the block for the next couple turns, because I need to get some excess block for his big 36 attack. And we have all this damn non-block. So I think I'm going to... That's a lot of damage, but... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get the block for the next couple attacks. Like this one. And... 
Keep him weakened, of course. Vulnerable. Rampage. I just need to get enough strength for the next... I need to have enough block for the next phase so that when the next phase comes around, I don't just get one shot. So on the... I might get rid of Cleave. Although I can kill him now, right? If I kill him now, then I have enough block for the next phase, I'm pretty sure. Is that good enough? It's decent, right? He's, I think he's gonna do like, what, 50-something? 48, okay. We can get him weakened, that helps a lot. And we can play Metallicize. I should've done Thunderclap first, whoopsies. That's pretty good, though. We got Metallicize out, got him weakened. More weakens. Pandem stacking up. I gotta keep track of that. The next fight is also an issue because I'm kind of low. I have to go into the next fight with no healing, so that'd be 14 HP and no potions. Gonna be Monk S. Gonna be Monk S. Okay, next fight, next fight. Okay, this could be... Because he also is pretty strong with Philosopher's Stone. But we got Barricade right away. We got the Weaken right away. We got that. Um, we also have Pennib. We need Demon Form. We need to get some big turns with Barricade. We got... Oof, Pennib was... Pennib was kind of nice there. Should I waste Pendib? I think so. Just for now. Two cards next turn. Could be problematic. Shockwave Metallicize. How about Funeral Pain Metallicize? Oh, I died. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Have no fear, guys. I'm fine. I think I want to use the bash. Oh, we do have shockwave, so technically I can get rid of the bash. Like, this is a lot of damage. But, so that's a lot of damage. And I can try pushing him over the edge, or I can try to get enough block to kill him. Uh, I can't do offering, of course. So, we either do bash, keep him vulnerable, or we try to build up and block. Hmm. 27, huh? That is Demon Form. I want to play Flame Barrier. Fuck, I'll play Demon Form. Hmm. This is going to be spicy. Uh oh, uh oh. 39. So if I do defend Rampage or Bludgeon or Rampage, he's not gonna get kill me, right? Because he's weakened. He's still removing a lot of block. Gotta keep the weakened back up right now. Please, Shockwave. Please, please, please. Close line. Very nice. Staying alive. Okay, now we need to get a a turn where he doesn't attack. I need to get vulnerable on him. Okay, he's attacking again. Um, this is fine. Now, this is the same situation. If I block, block, he's not. He goes up to 45, right? And I'm getting 16. 36, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Legend's a lot of damage, but... I wanna make sure I can kill him. You think I can kill him next turn? It depends on the draw. I have a lot of outs, right? So we have... So Heavy Blade is an out right away. Next turn, and so is Rampage. And so there's a... They have one... It's eight cards, right? I think we're drawing... Less because of negative effect. I'm not 100% sure. I should just wait, I would say. Mm. 
No. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. That's, that's a bad one. That's a bad one, boys. Yeah, that's a painful one. I could have tried to stick a pen, pen nib there. One HP, no problem. One HP, no problem. First game of the day feels pretty good. 1864. That's a damn straight. That's a damn straight.